Hello Aries, welcome to your love readings. This is a love reading all about your person. We're gonna be looking at what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you, what their true intentions towards you are, and what are their next actions going to be. So I'm gonna get right into it, Aries. Uh, this will be a general love reading. Will not resonate with everyone watching. Keep that in mind. Spirit angels, guys, personal energy. It's just for Aries, please. So let's look at what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you first. Tell me about the person that Aries is thinking about or in a connection with. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or are thinking about someone specifically. For Aries, please. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aries at this time, sir? What are they thinking or feeling about Aries? Interesting. Six of Cups reversed. So they are stuck in the past here. Thinking of the past. Not completely over the past. They could be wanting to return to the past as well. I normally don't get that message, but I just got that. So, And Eight of Wands reversed. So there could be... Um, little movement or communication here between you. Perhaps there's a message that's blocked. I have the Eight of Swords reversed. Maybe they just need to get over their fear or overcome some sort of situation where they feel stuck. Put this here. So let's get an oracle for the how they're secretly thinking or feeling. Tell me more about how this person is secretly thinking or feeling. How about Aries? Tell me more story. Tell me more story about how they're secretly or feeling. Okay, we got co-create. And the fates. I wanted to get another one. Number 40. Cookery always throws me off because what I think it is is not the message, so. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation. Okay, so someone's trying to create something here, manifest something. Something that they feel is fated. Um, maybe there's divine timing involved here for this connection. So let's get some more information here. Let's clarify. For Aries. Oh, there you are, Aries. Remember, first card you see. Spirits, angels, guys. Help me clarify these messages for Aries. Clarify. Let me clarify these messages for Aries. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. There's the Six of Cups reverse here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. King of Cups. This person. They have a lot of feelings for you, Aries. Um, Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, it's almost like they want to walk towards the past. Maybe they're thinking about how they walked away in the past. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Reverse. Two of Wands. Reverse. Maybe they chose a different path here um, or they want to make another decision. There could have been, for some of you, maybe this person had someone else on the side or um, walked away towards someone else. I think if they did that, um, it wasn't a happy place for them with the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, it wasn't as emotionally fulfilling as they thought. Perhaps this is a decision your person wants to make now because currently they're not happy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reversed. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We got Temperance and the Fates. I feel like this is about timing here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse, please. It's way too many. Ace of Cups reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. This is something very heartbreaking, emotionally draining, disappointing. Um, seven of cups reverse again with the choice it's like your person wants to make a certain choice here because they're unhappy or emotionally not doing well um This could also be that your person, um, the communication is, is uh, either the communication has been non-existent and, and that's heartbreaking or the lack of movement or progress has been heartbreaking. Um, this is taking a, a while to develop here with the Sagittarius, I mean, with Temperance, <laughs> with the Sagittarius card, uh, with Temperance card here. And it might take longer than um, typical here, this choice, because making the, the wrong choice is, is just not an option here. It's almost like someone does not want to make the wrong choice again. Bottom of the deck, I have four of pentacles and six of cups. Again, this idea of holding on to the past, um, holding back, but thinking about the past or the past is something very precious for someone. So let's get more information about how your person is thinking or feeling. Tell me more, Spirit, about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling. Well, so with the King of Cups, I feel like this is someone who has a lot of deep emotions for you. This is someone who has been through a lot in their life and is wiser because of it. The whale energy is very compassionate, very... Like a calming energy. Okay, what else can you tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling? This could also be that your person is hold, holding onto something or hiding something deep, deep down. Cobra. Watching and waiting. Cobra is also about master and teacher you know, or master and student, teacher and student. Again, I'm picking up, it's like your person has learned something regarding this connection. 
regarding how they feel about this connection or regarding, you know, this connection. And I feel also like this has been a deep uh, knowing or a deep understanding that your person is getting here. Also with the Cobra, I'm getting not a lot of movement at this time. Let's see what else we can get here. I'm using my new deck. This is the Secret Moon Oracle deck. It's a physical deck. It, this is a sample. The deck is much bigger. I'm working on it still, but I'll let you all know when it's available. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries. What are they secretly thinking or feeling when it comes to Aries or this connection spirit? Okay, we got You Make Me Happy. And I am ready to take action. Bottom of the deck, I still check up on you. So I still check up on you. That tells me kind of that there's not really a connection here that where you communicate a lot because this person's looking into you, checking up on what you're doing, what you're up to, you know, what's going on in your life. So now that we know how your person feels, what are their true intentions towards you? What is this person's true intentions? towards Aries or this connection? What are their true intentions towards Aries or this connection spirit? What are their true intentions? Okay, we got the chariot reversed, Cancer energy. What are their true intentions? King of Wands. Okay, so what I see here with these two cards is your person's going to be choosing a new direction because the direction they're in is not working. Tell me about the chariot reverse. Page of Cups reversed. More heartbreak, disappointment. Um, Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, this is like things weighing heavy on someone. Emotions weighing heavy on someone. I feel like your person, um, again, you know, that feeling of not dealing well with what they're going through. Um, Ace of Cups rever reversed with the Whale card, you know, deep emotions, deep disappointment. And this is a burden. Your person can no longer carry this burden. And that's why they're switching direction. Tell me more about the Chariot Reverse. Tell me more about the Chariot Reverse. Two of Wands reversed again. Yeah, this is about choosing a new path. Can I get one more about this Two of Wands reverse? The Hangman. Two of Swords. Okay, so they. this is a difficult decision. They're still making it. This is their intention to make a decision, a difficult decision regarding where they're stuck. Um, and what direction they want to go on here. Right after that, Nine of Wands and Two of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords reverse. This is going to... Um, lead to some sort of ending of a cycle for your person. If this is a third party situation where there's someone else involved, some uh, this person will need to make a choice. What's this King of Wands about? 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands. What's this about? Why is the King of Wands? Oops. Why is the King of Wands here? Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reverse. What else? This King of Wands, um, whatever they want, they're very clear headed about it. Okay, so Five of Wands reverse. Um, this person wants to overcome whatever conflict you have with them. Uh, whatever interference there is in this connection, whatever fighting, drama, uh, they want that to be done. They want there to be some sort of um, like repair of whatever that disconnect is, you know. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, um, either this person is unable to give you a commitment or is going through financial difficulty or they're literally cutting away a commitment here in order to be single nine of pentacles or it's more stable but the nine of pentacles is um sorry i'm drinking my coffee but the nine of pentacles is very a uh, free independent energy so i feel like they need to cut away whatever this is and they have clarity about that they know they know what they have to do And with the King of Wands, it's like their intent is to take action, go after something, complete a task, um, have courage to go after what they want. Uh, but let's see what their next actions are going to be. All right, Aries, what are this person's next potential actions, Spirit? What are this person's next potential actions? Wow, we got the two of cups. Let me move this over. What are their next potential actions here? Five of cups reverse. Yeah, that makes sense. They want to recover what's been lost overcome the past no longer have regrets over the past what's this nine of pentacles reverse they're attached to the past in some way they have not let the past go and i keep seeing that here let me clarify tell me about this two of cups this is all about coming together Queen of Cups reverse, emotional attachment, blocked intuition, heartbreak. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. The Lovers, Gemini energy, a choice in partnership here, choice between the head and the heart. Again, with the coming together. Temperance. Okay. This is all about timing. This is possibly a soulmate or something that's like divinely guided. This is all about coming together. Your person, their next actions are going to be centered around coming together with you. In the right time. And this is a choice. This is an active choice that the, your person needs to make. Move this over a little bit. This is an active choice that your person needs to make. So it's not enough to just come together with you. They need to act towards that. Make certain decisions. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. We have the Eight of Swords, Fear. Feeling stuck. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Four of 
four of cups reverse they've had a change of heart a renewed interest in the past and what uh, something that no that didn't hold their interest before all of a sudden it's holding their interest now this is someone that doesn't want to miss an opportunity because an opportunity was already missed in the past or you know they lost they missed something important um, and now they're having like a change of heart about this so we have the knight of pentacles and wheel of fortune reverse again with timing divine timing with the wheel of fortune this is reversed with the knight of pentacles reverse which tells me that this is going to take some time the knight of pentacles reverse for me as a reader still makes it to his destination after some serious hurdles some serious obstacles are met it might be that your person is like swimming against the current to make this happen um there's going to be a lot of like barriers here but as far as movement, I feel this is going to be very slow, slow going. Um, but they are ready to take action um, and, and they want to be happy. I feel like they're not happy right now without you. Um, and that's why they're still checking up on you. Um, that's why they're kind of switching direction here, choosing a different path for themselves. And maybe spirit is guiding them, speaking to their intuition or through dreams. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I almost died. <clears throat> so that's what I say. Okay. Before I lose my voice completely. If this is resonating for you, if you'd like to check out the extent of the link is in the description box below this video. If you like a personal reading, all of that information is down in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes share subscribes and hopefully i'll see you in another video take care